Hey, what's up everybody? This is Rob with my YouTube channel Slash Hall. I uh, just got finished doing a kettlebell run with the kettlebell in my backpack. I wouldn't recommend anybody do that unless, unless you're comfortable with your backpack and you're comfortable with the weight of the kettlebell you have. That's just a, that's just a no. Don't, don't do that unless you want to meet a specific goal within 30 minutes like I'm I'm trying to do like I just ran a mile with the kettlebell down there in my backpack for 30 minutes and that is uh that is because I don't have a whole lot of time to myself to come out to the track very often in addition to that uh it's uh it gets it gets really fucking excuse my language it gets really hot here ridiculously hot like you wouldn't believe this is definitely not the right place for me to be living if you're a big dude but uh it's where i'm at now so i'm trying to make the most of it uh doing fitness uh today i'm gonna today after the run i'm doing a kettlebell walk i'll be carrying it in my hand as a suitcase carry for the first hundred or hundred meters uh however however you measure it out it's not a it's not a very well-made track and then i'll be racking it on the next hundred meters and then i'll be pressing through and carrying it up like this on the next hundred meters and then i'll be alternating arms to do that uh resetting myself this is to help with my core stability uh while i'm walking as i've said i do want to walk the uh the appalachian trail at least here in virginia while i'm out here i don't know how far i'm gonna walk i'd like to take time out of my schedule to go from Florida and hike it all the way through Florida and all the way through the states, but I just don't have the resources to do that right now. Uh, so with that being said, let's get walking. But there's one other thing I gotta say. Uh, um, because I'm a heavy set guy and uh, thing, things are a lot harder for me to walk around, I finally have some nice uh, Skechers shoes here. Uh, they've got the memory foam in them. And this is a hard track to walk on. Uh, it's practically walking on concrete if you're wearing normal running shoes. I recommend uh, uh, if you're doing any type of uh, uh, walking or running uh, Skechers uh, memory foam shoes. Uh, for me, I can hardly feel the impact. Uh, if you sweat a lot and, you know, out here in Virginia, I have sweat a lot and my shoes tend to like fill up with water because it's just so hot out here. I know it sounds nasty. They have a... Uh, they also have not a memory foam, but a memory type gel that does exactly the same thing. And that I've I've uh, I've seen I've heard about that gel not absorbing water. I can't be as sure on that, but I've hiked through uh, rivers with uh, memory foam shoes, and all the memory foam just tends to absorb water. And it takes depending on if you know, like your shoes are next to a fire or not, it takes maybe a day or so to dry out. Or if you're in a hot environment, it might take maybe a day to dry. Uh, with that being said, let's get walking. It is getting kind of late here. Uh, so I am, see it's eight o'clock now. I'm just gonna do uh, uh, two, two walks, speed walking, uh, doing what I said. I marked out the track there. <clears throat> and this is just gonna be a small video of me getting back into it. It's uh, starting to cool down here. Um, all in all, I've had an exciting time living here in Virginia. Uh, the other day, I was checking out the local college, uh, Thomas Nelson, and I was thinking about going there myself, taking about five classes there, uh, geared towards uh, game coding, uh, something I wanna do. And then I'm also looking at like other industries as well, uh, uh, just to, just to check those out. I like working where I'm working at now, but there's still a lot of improvement I need to work on. So I'm currently working on that. And I'm gonna try to make uh, fitness a part of a part of that improvement. Uh, but I'll, I will, uh, we'll see how far that goes. used to be I used to keep these videos on lock because uh, I did a uh, I worked a lot of jobs they weren't security centric and you didn't need 
security clearance or anything, but security was very important. Like when I worked with the court systems, I keep my videos on lock. Here we go, I'm wrecking it right now. Yeah, step. Now I've got the kettlebell racked. So I used to keep my videos on lock uh, uh, for security purposes. Oh, I may have to leave here. Oh wait, no. There's a, there's deer over there. And uh, they decided to run off, I guess. I try not to get too close to the deer. Uh, they don't really expect people to be out here this late. It's wildlife stuff, but it's only, it's only eight o'clock. But they'll make sure there's none around me. You just want to be careful with uh, wild animals. You don't want to invade their personal space or anything like that. And uh, you don't want them getting curious and getting too close to you either. That was another hard lesson I learned in Alaska when I was in Alaska. So this rack position, I've got it right here. It is making my arm tired. And then I'm coming up here to this stretch here where I'm going to carry it uh, over my head. And then I've got to keep my back straight and my shoulders forward while I'm carrying it. But all in all, not bad. How I used to do kettlebells a long time ago. Here it is, right here. And then uh, I just keep my hands open. And then I just walk through. Definitely, well, it says a lot about my arm conditioning. I've been uh, working with kettlebells, gosh, the last six weeks, doing swings and stuff like that to prep myself to run a mile with a kettlebell in my backpack. I was actually surprised I did it. I'm gonna keep going here. Oh, then I gotta let it down. Whew. That was actually hard on the body. Much harder than I thought it would be. Let's take a break here until the eight minute mark. I try not to over work my body these days. I'm trying to lose the weight, watch what I eat, drink water. Excuse me. One of the things I've been working on, here we go. I'm just going to clean it up, rack, and then you know, my knees and go straight up. There we go. And then, uh, I have been working on, uh, I can barely see me, but I have been working on, I have been working on uh, fasting to lose weight. I wouldn't recommend doing that either. Not without reading up on it and doing the research and understanding your individual body because each body is different. My body happens to be bigger. It's got a lot of weight on it. So I can eat into a lot of energy during a fasting period. Oof, this is tough. All right, drop it, reset. That was actually ridiculously hard. I might only do one lap here. I do have a morning routine now. I do a set of kettlebell exercises in the morning to get my energy going. They're basically, they're, they're mostly strength training. And then at the end, I do, uh, depending on the day, I either do six sets of 20 kettlebell swings or four sets. I have like a deload morning as well. Here I am on this portion of the track. You can barely see it. <coughs> but there is uh, there's no deers around me. 
they're uh, red-tailed deer. Uh, every time they see people, they run, which is the smart move uh, in my book. And then I finally, uh, I finally started looking at other uh, other options for myself instead of just doing the tech position, always going hard at it, always doing stuff in technology. So I'm looking at that now. Wreck it. And uh, I like technology. I think it's been about four or five years since I've started working technology. And uh, it's definitely been a little while. I've spent a lot of time uh, reading books, serving certifications, chasing the zeitgeist. And uh, I realized I'm still kind of at the same spot when I started, not moving forwards or backwards. The only additional uh, stuff to that is I've gotten a chance doing a lot of traveling, doing, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, doing, uh, doing traveling with technology. So that's been really nice. But I'll, uh, I'll see, I'll see what the future holds. And now I'm on the last piece. Well, not the last piece, but this is this is the second lap for me. So this will be my final lap of the night. It's important to let your arm go straight up and not hold it out as an angle. Or let the muscles get uh, let the muscles get lazy. If you feel a lot of stress on the muscles, go ahead and set it down. Me, I'm trying to increase my stress th uh, threshold. I know there's a lot of buzzwords. That's not really a thing. I'm just trying to uh, put my muscles under more stress. So uh, to let it down here. So I can do this more. Whew, so close. But I was feeling it in the shoulders and and the back shoulder blades. Oh yeah. Here, bring it up. Rack. Uh, bend your knees. Go straight up. That's just uh in case uh, uh, you need uh, just a little extra force to bring it straight up. And of course, while I'm doing this walk, I'm keeping my uh, stomach tight. All right, here we are. This is gonna be the last lap because this is the second lap. And then, uh, hmm, am I doing this right? Yeah, I think I'm doing this right. I might have, I might have cut my lap wrong. Yeah, I probably cut it wrong. So about halfway through this walk, we'll rack it. And I'll, I will rack it. And then... I'll bring it straight up. And what I'm doing with that walk, there's a kettlebell exercise called the jerk, where uh, you hold the kettlebell in a rack position. 
and that's to help with your core stability. You're supposed to do it with uh, two of them, but uh, for me, I wanted to do that, but I didn't have an extra kettlebell. So I thought I'd combine it with the walk. It's really dark now, so you can't see me. I was actually really excited about Thomas Nelson. They had five classes I wanted to take, all centered around software and game development. <sighs> and the other day when I left, I, uh, I wandered in the wrong direction during a thunderstorm, and I was waiting on the wrong side of the street, uh, and then I caught the wrong bus going to the, the wrong transit center. So that was, that was a thing. Luckily, uh, the lady who helped me was really nice. She gave me a ride back up to Thomas Nelson. Oh, straight up. And I managed, I managed to uh, find my way home from there, catching the 111 and then the 107 from the mall. But uh, man, it was really annoying. I didn't get home until like 11 a.m., 12 a.m. I don't remember. I just ended up crashing and going to sleep. It's important when you're doing this, keep your shoulders straight, but keep your arms straight up. All right. That's the length of those muscles. Then I've got a few feet to go. A few, maybe like 10 or 15 feet. But still, the suitcase carry, then the rack, and then walking with a kettlebell pressed overhead. That was definitely not easy. I can't believe I used to do this with 20 kilograms. I must have been crazy back then. Uh, who knows? I might, I might get up, I might get back up to 20 kilograms. Almost there. Oh. <sighs> so that was two laps with the uh, of kettlebell walking with the suitcase carry, the uh, rack walk, and the overhead press walk. So it's really dark and you can't see me. Well, it's not dark yet, but I'm uh, definitely heading back. So with that being said, uh, keep up your fitness, YouTubers. Later.